In this video, I'm going to be going over how you can run any scheduled task that you want from a Hive OS rig. So sometimes there comes a point where you want to run a scheduled task from a Hive OS rig. Uh, this will this can be useful for a number of things. Um, the first thing that comes to my mind is the profit switcher I created. Sometimes we just want to run that as a scheduled task. That way we don't have to have a separate system running it periodically. Uh, there can be a number of reasons you want to run a scheduled task. So in this video, I'm going to be going over that. Uh, it's a little bit different in HiveOS, but overall, uh, the Linux principles still kind of stand. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to jump over onto this rig, and I'm going to open Shell in a Box. You can also SSH in. I'm just going to log in. And I already have... A script here that I put um, inside my home folder so if we just open this up you can see all it's doing is it's outputting the current date and it's saying executing test script this is so we can just verify that it's running um, so in a normal Linux environment you would just do cron tab right cron tab she to edit it However, HiveOS overwrites this on every startup. So anytime you read, you could, in theory, you could change this, apply it, but as soon as you reboot, it's gonna get overwritten. So what we have to do is, let's go ahead and exit out of this. And we want to open up the HiveOS config file for CronTab in a text editor. So I like to use nano. So we're going to do nano slash and it's going to be slash hive slash etc slash crontab dot root. If we pull this up, you can see it looks very similar to the crontab file. And this is actually what gets applied at every reboot. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new entry here. You can see I already have an entry here for my profit switcher app. But for the purposes of this video, we're just going to run one every minute. If you're unfamiliar with cron expressions, uh, essentially you're, this is the minute, this is the hour, this is the day, this is the week, this is the month. So asterisk slash one, I'm saying I want to run this job every minute at the zero zero mark of the minute. And what we're going to do is we're just going to, I'm actually going to, I like to change into the folder. That way I know I'm always working out of that folder. So we're going to change into the folder. And then we're going to run our shell script, which is uh, test underscore script dot sh. And we're going to append that to a log file. So that log file will be in that same folder and we'll just call it um, test script log.txt. Log and we're just going to do control X and a Y, exit out and save. And now what should happen after we reboot, we'll pull this back up. So after we reboot every minute, it should run the script and append the output to this text file. So we're gonna test that by doing a reboot. Just do a pseudo reboot from within here. You can also do it from the Hive dashboard. So we'll just wait for our system to come back up. And just take a couple seconds here. Uh, one of the things with Linux cron tabs is you can't go down to the second. So just keep that in mind. If you're trying to run tasks, you want to run them no more than every minute. Uh, typically, if I'm running tasks, I try to run them not more than every 15 minutes. Uh, you are going to be using CPU cycles running them, obviously. So just bear that in mind if you are CPU mining on the rig as well. All right, so to back up, we're going to do connect. And we're going to log in. And we have our log file, which means it has been running. So I'm just going to actually, we'll do a cat on the test script. All right, so it's ran one time so far. 
let's just let's let it run one more time and let's just do and do a follow on it So this will monitor that log file. All right, it, so it just ran again. So here we can see it is running every minute. It's taking about a second to run. Perfect. So that's pretty much all there is to setting it up. Now, if you want to monitor or periodically check that log file from within HiveOS without SSHing in or using show in a box, you can use the run command here. And what we're going to do is I'm just going to do tail slash home slash uh, user slash let's see what would we name that. We name that test script log dot txt. So we're going to do test script log dot txt. We're going to hit run. It's going to run that command and we're going to be able to see the output here as soon as it's done. So it's done. So if we just click this, here we can see the output. And then the nice thing about running it here, hit run command, it'll retain it in your recent commands. So here you can see I have my profit switcher one. If I click on that, run the profit switcher one. And the tail's gonna, I think it defaults to the last 10 lines of the log. Uh, you can use uh, you can use the dash n command to tell it the number of lines you want it to output. But typically, just for monitoring, make sure it's running. Usually, those last couple lines is all you need, especially if you're including the date in them. So we'll just give that a second. Let that run. That one should not take long. Go ahead and give it a refresh. Interesting. That file is not that big. That shouldn't take long. Let's go ahead and while that's running, we'll go ahead and run the test script log one again and see if we have more than two lines. That one's done. And here we can see four lines. So we can see it's running correctly. And so that's all there is to the video. I just wanted to show you guys how you can use that to set up any type of scheduled task. Uh, pretty much any command you can run from command line within Linux, you can use to run that execution. I do suggest if you're running a bunch of commands to put that into a um, batch file a shell file um, typically is the preference and when you do it the only thing just to make sure you do is make sure you have the header line that tells it uh, what to what type of script it is to execute so in this case we want a bash script and then you can put whatever command you want in here just tell the cron job to execute it and one thing I will show you guys real quick before we close out the video. If we run cron tab dash E, again, you don't want to change this. In fact, you can see it's a temp file. But here we can see our job at the end. And if we want to remove that job, it is simple as just doing nano slash hive slash etc slash cron tab dot root. Oops. Cron tab dot root. And we can just comment out that. Or we can remove it completely. Either way is fine. And then we can just run a reboot. And before I do that, I just want to see if that ever completed. Um, that other command did not complete. That's fine. Uh, we can go ahead and run our reboot. And then when this comes back up, that job will no longer be running. But that's it guys, thanks for watching.